laser induced breakdown spectroscopy introduction atomic spectroscopy is the study of electromagnetic radiation absorbed and emitted by atoms since each atom has its own unique light absorption and emission characteristics we can exploit this information to analyze the composition of elements in a given sample electrons are in certain energy levels in atoms which we call them atomic orbitals as per quantum mechanics these energy levels are said to be quantized that means each energy level possesses specific energy rather than possessing any arbitrary energy this diagram explains the atomic absorption and emission processes atomic energy levels arise because of the presence of electrons in different atomic orbitals atomic absorption takes place if an electron sitting in the ground state is supplied with energy in terms of light atomic absorption can be measured by atomic absorption spectrometer in short form it is called as aas on the other hand atomic emission takes place if an excited electron relaxes back to ground state atomic emission can be measured by atomic emission spectrometer such as flame atomic emission spectrometer inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometer and so on what is atomic emission spectroscopy atomic emission spectroscopy is a fundamental technique mainly used for qualitative and quantitative analysis of different elements present in a given solid or liquid sample this method is based on the concept of detection of the emitted light by excited state atoms during their relaxation to their respective ground states as i mentioned earlier since atomic energy levels are quantized the emitted light is characteristic to a particular element therefore by measuring the emitted light we can characterize the presence and absence of elements in a given sample as we know most of the atoms present in a molecular form in any substance therefore a typical atomic emission spectrometer invariably requires a source for converting molecules into free gaseous atoms thermal energy source a flame may be used as a atomization cum excitation source to obtain free excited state atoms besides plasma spark arc and lasers are the other type of sources generally used for preparing free gaseous excited state atoms you may recall the concept of atomic emission unless we have excited state atoms we cannot have atomic emission spectrum there are several atomic emission spectrometers commercialized today and all of them are in principle same and mainly used for detection of atomic elements in a given solid sample but they differ by atomization cum excitation source principle of laser induced breakdown spectroscopy this is known as libs in short form having understood the concept of aes it is easy to understand the principle of lips technique lips is one type of atomic emission spectroscopic technique in which high energetic laser pulse is used for atomization cum excitation process in this method a laser is focused onto a sample that forms a plasma which atomizes and excites the sample the formation of the plasma begins only when the focus laser exceeds a certain threshold for optical breakdown and this generally depends upon the environment and the target material in principle lips can analyze any matter regardless of its physical state be it a solid or liquid or gas since all elements emit light with a characteristic wavelength when excited to sufficiently high temperature lips can in principle detect all the elements however 
lips is limited by the power of the laser as well as the sensitivity and wavelength range of the spectrograph and detector. If the constituents of the materials are known, LIPS data may be used to evaluate the relative abundance of each constituent element and to monitor the presence of impurities. On the other hand, since area under the peak or intensity of the peak is directly proportional to the concentration, one can also find out the excite abundance of that particular element in the analyte sample. In other words, LIPS technique is useful for both qualitative and quantitative analysis. This is a schematic diagram of a typical LIPS system or instrument. The LIPS system consists of a solid state laser, sample holder or stage, monochromator, detector and other optical components such as focusing and collecting lens, mirrors, etc. This lip system is generally coupled to a computer which can rapidly process the data and interpret the acquired data. Lip spectrometer gives a two dimensional graph or plot which depicts the variation of emitted light intensity with respect to different wavelengths typically from 1100 nanometer to 170 nanometer. So this is a portable LIPS instrument which can be taken to everywhere for analyzing samples. This is extremely good for analyzing the biomass materials because we need not to cut and hurt the plants and trees. Advantages of LIPS Variety of samples can be analyzed. It is mainly used for solids and liquids. We can also analyze gas samples. Little or no sample preparation is required for this analysis. LIPS analysis typically requires very small amount of material, typically 0.1 microgram to 1 milligram. And therefore, practically this analysis is said to be non-destructive as compared to the conventional elemental analysis techniques such as AES, AES and CHNS analysis. Using this technique, extremely hard materials that are really difficult to digest or dissolve can be analyzed using this technique. For example, ceramics and superconductors. Simultaneous detection of multiple elements that include metals and non-metals is a major advantage of this particular technique. LIPS is also rapid technique giving results within seconds making it extremely useful for high volume analysis or online industrial monitoring. Since LIPS is an entirely optical technique we can analyze the samples even without touching the sample, just by focusing laser onto the samples. Additionally, LIPS system can be coupled to a optical microscope for mapping elements present in a given sample. Unlike AES techniques, this LIPS instrument is portable, which can be used for screening the samples for variety of elements, particularly lighter elements such as sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, etc. Disadvantages of LIPS LIPS analysis is poor in terms of precision and accuracy. A typical LIPS spectrum will have several peaks if the sample contains several elements and the corresponding peaks may overlap which is difficult to interpret easily. Detection limits are generally not good as compared to ICP-AS techniques. Sometimes it is difficult to obtain suitable standards which are required if we are interested in quantitative analysis. LIPS instruments are generally expensive especially due to the laser source. However, portable LIPS instruments relatively cheaper. Over a period of time, there is a possibility of ocular damage due to the high energy laser pulses. 
applications of lips dendrochemistry is the study of trace minerals in tree rings to understand the air pollution in the past times lips has been used successfully for estimating elements present in each rings this is a photograph of tree rings which is taken just after the lips analysis by pointing the laser exactly onto the tree rings we can get information of elements in each ring and we can interrelate this information to the air pollution in the past compositional analysis of ash content in biomass i am sure you would have learnt already from previous modules what is ash inorganic constituents in biomass are referred to as ash and they significantly contribute to several problems during the conversion process such as fouling of reactor surface and interfering in reaction pathways which ultimately reduce the yields of expected products and increases the waste the total ash content and its constituents in biomass vary over a wide range and influenced by plant type growing conditions harvesting methods and handling operations the conventional aes methods such as icp oes inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry and flame atomic absorption spectrometry may also be used for determine the ash content in biomass but these methods typically requires proper sample preparation which consumes both reagents and time in this context in recent years lips is found to have more advantages over these conventional methods lips technique is not only more rapid but also economical and facilitates inline blending of biomass materials with different ash compositions to achieve ash specifications for a specific conversion process compositional analysis of algal samples algal biomass in natural environment act as a bio indicator of pollution suppose if some algal species are selectively added to a polluted area they might serve as a bio remediation tool however algal samples need to be analyzed for better understanding of the root causes of pollution this demands a new technique which is capable of in vivo online and in real time measurements it was proved that conventional lips setup can be modified such that it could be used for fast online characterization of algal species within the industrial environment it has been reported that minerals such as magnesium copper calcium and potassium can be estimated in few seconds depending upon the selected range and instrumentation therefore in principle lips is capable of real time in situ recognition of some of the algal species lip spectra of bio oils elemental analysis of a crude oil is performed to determine the presence and the content of various elements such as carbon hydrogen oxygen sulfur nitrogen nickel vanadium iron etc carbon hydrogen oxygen sulfur and nitrogen are the integral parts of the matrix while the other are considered as impurities by measuring the lip spectrum one can conclude the quality of the crude oil this is a lip spectra of oak pine and switch grass oils by looking at the spectra we can come to a conclusion what is present and what is not present in a given bio oil summary dear students let us summarize what we have discussed so far we discussed about the lips technique especially the principle of lips technique instrumentation and few applications this lips technique can be used for 
elemental analysis of biomass samples. Using this technique, it is possible to estimate the, the elements or minerals present in plant leaves, ash of woody mass, algal samples, tree rings, bio oils and so on. I hope you understood the basic principles of infrared spectroscopy and laser induced breakdown spectroscopy and how to characterize the biomass materials using these two techniques. Thank you.